happy Monday. It is the beginning of a new working week and I feel good today. Um, I think I always feel my best on a Monday morning because I'm refreshed from like a relaxing weekend. Um, but today I have a few orders to do as per usual. Um, so I'll be doing those. I think I've got about six, three on my website and actually think it might be four on Etsy. Um, so not not that busy still it's still quite quiet but i am so grateful for any sale um so yeah i'm very happy and then i think we're gonna make something new oh that's exciting isn't it um yeah i have bought some stuff um i bought it the other week and i just haven't had a chance um to get on top of trying um what i want to do with it um so i am gonna have to give that a go today and i'll take you guys along with me but first things first coffee um and orders so we'll do that first and then i'll come back and i'll talk you through what it is i want to try and make <laughs> So this is my little setup here where I do orders. So I have two of these desks here. One where I sit and do admin and one where I do orders. Um, these desks are from Argos. Um, they're really cheap but they have loads of storage so um, that's good for me because I love me some storage. And I've already got a little dim here um, from this thing this but never mind anyway yeah this is where i do my order packing and this is my little setup so i put i'm gonna turn you around and talk you through it all right i'm sorry if you can hear the kettle in the background it's so loud so let's come back this is my packing desk i put my laptop here and i have my mouse um because although my laptop has a trackpad if like i'm working over this side of the desk it's easier if i can just look over and use my mouse um i do prefer to use a mouse when i'm sat at a desk it's just easier and my mouse is this cute little like ice cream it's a logitech one it's cool i really like it so yeah i put my laptop goes there and then I'll um, pick the orders from up here and then I'll usually plop them like here. Um, and then I'll sit in this little gap and I'll do my orders here. Um, so I have my um, paper bags here. Um, I don't use them as much anymore. I'm trying to kind of um, not use so much packaging because I do use quite a lot. Um, these are all my stickers. I haven't filled this one yet. Um, and then I have backing cards here and cello for stickers and then i have these little like coin bags and these remind me of being at school and um, when we used to have like tuck shop money and we used to put them in these like little bags um, and then i've just stamped my logo on and these are for like smaller sticker orders so i just whack them in there to save on using like so much cello i would really want to get through using all this cello um i put them in there and then i just pop them in the envelopes they go in there and then just random bits and bobs like my cutter and my corner cutter in here um, a little second ooh people there that's for my mom and then i have all of these stickers there are so many these are from printed.com there's a thousand um it'll take me a while to get through all of them down here is where my washi tape is i need to refill this one with one of these uh maybe the snail mail um, and my craft tape and then a pot of pens because I always need a pen. This fork is meant to be there. Um, that's how I take the back in pins off pins. Very fancy, isn't it? My charger for my camera sits there. And then up here I have my little speaker um, because I have to listen to something while I work, even if it's music or um, I watch vlogs on here or listen to podcasts. Um, I have to have something on and i'm still um absolutely still searching for the perfect ear buds um I'm yet to find them i've had about 10 pairs since i started this job and um, but the problem i have with earbuds is 
longevity they seem to just break <laughs> i don't know what i do but they just break and my ears are very small so they have to have small buds like so they have to be changeable buds because i usually have to buy really small ones um so if they fall out of my ears it's not going to work for me and i have very small ears but i also have a thing about my ears um, because when I was a child I had so so many ear problems um, I was in and out of hospital and I'm quite hard of hearing now um, so also have to like be comfortable in my ears or I won't like wear them <laughs> um, so at the moment I just have this um, Huawei speaker that came with my phone um, it's good enough it's fine my mum has an Alexa if I want loud music but I tend to not put loud music on because of the neighbours <laughs> so yeah that is my little um packing desk tour oh also have a little scale here because I have to weigh my parcels um but yeah I thought I'd give you a little packing desk tour and there it is and now we're gonna work at it and do my orders Snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Darling, you've got 
project <laughs> um so i had this idea a few weeks ago um i think it was when i was looking at myself <laughs> in the mirror does anybody do this when you look in the mirror and you're just like oh ugh, you are just bleh. i always do it all the time whenever i look in the mirror i get this like bleh feeling <laughs> So I decided that I wanted to make for my bathroom at home a little decal to put on my mirror that just is like you are great or you are awesome or awesome human or just something along those lines to put on my mirror at home. So then I thought oh, this is a lovely idea, let's give it a go. Um, so here I have um, some matte um, vinyl, it should be the right one. Um, so yeah, it's self-adhesive matte vinyl in black and white, um, which I just thought was the best colour to start with because um, they're versatile. So yeah, that's what I did. Um, I will probably go for white because I like a good white, but black works as well, obviously. <laughs> And then I've got a roll of transfer tape. Um, these are the things I need to make the vinyl. Um, I used to do vinyls all the time. When I first launched my shop, um, I used to do like um, vinyl that goes on like folders. And I used to make like folders to put Slimmer World books in. This is when I was big on Slimmer World and things like that. Um, and then I used to also do vinyls for people like um, when Mrs. Hinch got like huge. Um, and everybody was putting vinyls over everything I used to sell those as well but when I decided um, I wanted to niche right down on OK Doodle and just sell my um, my own designs um, I took them off so I know what to do and we're gonna give it a go though um, I think I'm gonna go with maybe I don't know I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna measure a mirror um, my mum's got a spare mirror in the cupboard I think I might get it out measure how big I want it and then we'll pop on to Cricut Design Space and I'll try and film it so you can see it and we'll set up something to cut and put on a mirror and see how it turns out yeah okay let me go and get the mirror okay so this is the mirror it's huge <laughs> And it's been it's been sanded. My mum has sanded the sides because I think she's going to paint it. But she said I could use it and that it's fine. Um, but yeah, it's massive. So what I'm thinking is putting something along here. So it needs to be quite large. But I think I'm going to do two sizes anyway. Because my mirror at home is like only this big. So I'll do a small um, in white and a large in black because i want the white one i think at home i don't know but let's measure it and see 
okay so we're on my computer now and this is um cricut design space behind here and then i've got some things that i was doing for sizing so for size i've gone i think i'm gonna go large with 28 um so like 28 so nearly the size of a ruler um and then small i think i'm going to 18 so it's 10 centimeters smaller than the large um so let's make a new project now let's go to new and open up this now i like to press this button here and then come up to here and change my background to like a darker gray and this usually i do when i'm doing stickers so i can see the white border i don't like it when the background is white because i just feel like i miss that <laughs> Um, so we're just going to bring up the text box here and I'm going to pick um, my own font which should be in here um, oh no it's this one um, it's called Claude <laughs> I know it's a really random name and um, and I think I'm just going to put in awesome human because this is like a brand staple um sort of uh quote so I think it goes well with my brand and it's something I say a lot now for sizing on here I like to keep this in inches because I usually work in inches so let's go with a large so 28 centimeters let's just go on to a google um 28 centimeters in inches is 11 inches um so let's come up here and press 11 inches wide which is fine because my mats on my Cricut are 12 inches so that's kind of awesome <laughs> um and we're gonna put that there um but i really want to do some shapes as well so maybe i will do a star but i'm not keen on how pointy they are so if we pop into my uploads and have a look um through my png files which are here i've got some clouds um i've got a star all these sparkles would be nice but maybe a star but then these stars are pointy as well hmm let's have a look i've got another png file somewhere um here let's see if i've got anything that will go in here um this star shape could work um we could just bring this in as a cut file um so when you get to this part you can save it as a print and cut so it'll look like that but i just want the cut file and there's a little thing here though i'm not really i don't feel like it looks like a star without the print on it so we're not going to use that one um we could go with a heart i don't know or should we just have the text i don't know um i'm gonna come back to you because i'm gonna try and find a png that's gonna work okay i think i found a star here that is gonna work um i just wanted the corners to be more rounded rather than um like squared off but this now i've pulled it in doesn't look the best here um, but I think because this is a tester, we are just going to test it. And I would just want them to be quite small. So I'd want them to be about that big. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate them. Duplicate, duplicate. And then pop them in the empty space so I don't take up too much of the vinyl. And then we are going to go to press make it at the top here. And this is how it's going to print out on my mat. Um, so that is the next thing that we need to do so because this is the test one i'm just going to cut off um, a bit that i need um, so i need it to be about three inches um, wide so i'm just going to cut off what i need for this one 
because it's the test cut. And I dropped that. So I'm going to stick it onto my mat, which is very in need of a clean. <laughs> and I like so. And this one's still pretty sticky, so that is good. So we're over on the computer again and I just want to do it as a um, washi with the default pressure because my blade um, is fine and then we need to bring this which I've just realised is on the wrong mat but let's just give it a go over here I need to load it in and then we should be able to just cut it, hopefully. <laughs> it's cutting the stars. Okay, here we are. We've got our thing and now we are gonna peel the vinyl which I find hard to find a starting point so I'm gonna use my little picky tool. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I, does anybody have this problem even with stickers where they can't peel anything? <laughs> right, and you'll see hopefully where the cutter has cut around the words like okay i just took my brightness down because i don't know why i didn't notice but it was up so bright so i hope you've been able to see everything um but as you can see i am peeling off the vinyl where my cutter has cut Yay! Um, I did waste quite a little bit there because I made this too big. And then you're just going to um, peel out like the insides of your letters. So like the A here, you just peel it off um, and stick it somewhere. Um, I do have a fancy dancy tool for this, but because this is white, I can't really see where I'm picking. Um, so, and sometimes I do just find it really easier to um, do it with my finger, to be honest. And I just bend and do it that way. So, as you can see, it says awesome, human, and I've got my two stars. Um, so next, I'm just going to cut it up a little bit. get rid of the excess right the next thing we want to do is keep the stars Claire keep the stars is put the application tape on and um, so let's undo this so the way I'm gonna do this um, people will probably shout at me <laughs> but I'm gonna um, roll it out and then I'm gonna stick my thing straight on um, and the reason why I'm doing it this way is to try and get the most out of my um, application tape. So I'm also going to stick the stars on. Like so. And then I'm just going to cut um, what I need off the application tape. So then I haven't cut too much off because... 
to be honest application tape is isn't that cheap um especially when you buy a really good one like so um i usually use express um but i didn't want to buy a massive um roll if this did, doesn't work so this is one i got off gm crafts um who are, are a really good company i really like them um they never fail me <laughs> so we'll see how it goes it might not be as good as the express tape um but i don't want to waste it so that is how i do that and then i'm just going to roll my tape up and then next time i've got all that but if if these go well and i put them in a shop i'll end up doing a 12 by 12 so i'll just end up um using it bigger anyway um so the next thing I'm do, going to do is I'm just going to cut these stars off again. But now we have our awesome human um, on the backing tape like so. And this is where you would use my squidgy. Um, where is it? Is it in one of these drawers? I shall be back. Okay, so what we want is we want these letters to stick to this back in. So when we pull it, as you can see, the letters haven't stuck. So we want to apply some pressure. And I have this handy roller thingy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push down and give it a roll. Oh no, I did it wrong. Just roll that out. <laughs> And then when I peel, I like to peel this way. So I like to peel the back from the thing and not this way. Um, I don't know why I do it that way. I just find that they tend to stick to the backing paper more if I pull it away this way. So this is what we're left with. Yay. And the backing paper. So now let's go over to the mirror. Okay, we're back at the mirror. Hello. <laughs> And I have my awesome human decal ready to put on it. So I'm going to flip my screen up so I can just check that I'm in shot. I'm not covering the thing. And shall we have it in the middle maybe? Let's just put it there. I'm going to stick it on. Like so. Give it a little... Um, I'm going to give it a little roll, but this is obviously mirror, so I don't want to break it. Look, let's give it a little roll. And then you just peel the same way we did before it from its backing card. And it's on the mirror! Look at it, it looks so cute. And then we have our little stars. To do as well which I totally forgot about so hopefully these are stuck yes I'm gonna put our little stars on next to this It looks so cute. I'm going home now. It's snowing um, quite a bit. I'm going to head home um, just in case it gets heavier because it's meant to. Um, but also I'm done here. I've done my orders and I've done the decal um, work that I wanted to do. And so I'm going to go home. I've got a load of stuff that I need to do admin wise. Um, I need to order envelopes. I need to order, I've forgotten already, sticker paper. And I need to do... Um, so I'm putting together our Patreon box stickers so I can do all that at home I'm just going to go home, get cosy um, I think my husband is going to cook an apple crumble so I'm here for that <laughs> um, so yeah that's what I'm going to do so I will see you 
um, tomorrow or Wednesday. I don't know if I'm coming in here tomorrow. Um, we'll just see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what orders I get. Um, but yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Also, it's really snowing. The snow is sticking. Look. Hey guys. Um, so I'm in bed. <laughs> and basically i don't know when this vlog is going to be going live whether i've got enough footage for a whole vlog for this week or whether i'll just attach on to next week but basically um i've been in bed for the last three days i think this is like day four of feeling like absolute crap um so yeah i haven't been filming and i haven't been to work i shut my shops and I've had to do a COVID test just to be on the safe side um, because I literally have a lot of the symptoms. It started with a headache, like really bad migraine, um, and then it's gone on to like a full on cold. And today all my ears hurt. So I just hope it's a cold really and I've, I've got a run down. But yeah, to be on the safe side, I did a test and just waiting for the results really. And... But in the meantime, I'm just in bed watching films. I've been doing some work. Um, I've been getting some um, admin stuff done and my finances and doing a bit of drawing. But that's literally the most um, that I've been able to do because I just, oh, sorry, feel like absolute crap. So, yeah, um, if this ends up being a whole vlog on its own, I hope it's good and please give it a thumbs up because that's really going to help me <laughs> um, especially when my shops are closed right now oh, I'm so worried about it um, and yeah I'll see you next week and if I do end up attaching um, the little bit of footage I've got to um, next week's vlog then I'll see you in a minute <laughs> um, but yeah I'm going to go get some rest now okay love you bye